You know those people that are so cold? They're innocent. They're believing their thoughts. You know those people that have been so mean to you? They have to be. They're believing their thoughts about you, about the world. You know the things you do that you're so sorry for? Those things you regret, those things that you experience guilt over? If you go back and you look at what you were believing before you did what you did, you will see clearly you had no choice. (coughs) Zero. And whatever you were believing before you did it, you still believe. And you will do it again. You'll just maybe be a little more subtle with it so you don't get caught so obviously next time. So we become so secretive, so painful. So if you go back to see what you were believing before you did what you did, and you put what you were believing on paper, and then you work it. You do the work with it, you work it. You don't just say, is it true? Well, no, I don't believe that, it's over. The work doesn't work. No, there, there are four questions for a reason, and there's a turnaround for a reason, and the examples, the genuine that comes out of that, as you do it, that's the work. And then you notice, after that, as life happens, because there's no way to know otherwise what you've undone, your mind will tell you you still don't believe it. And the thing will happen, and you don't react the same way. Let me do the work today and say, well, I still believe it, the work doesn't work. And then life happens. Minus the pain in that same old situation. An example of that is like maybe you have resentments against a parent. You leave here still believing you have resentments against your parents. But then you encounter that parent and you notice you don't. So the mind will think anything. What happens in this head is the same thing happened in your head. The only difference is, I don't believe it. So mind is free. It can run through me freely. And I don't ignore it. I am that and not. No denial running, unless you can find some for me. And I'm very, very open. I'm more than open to that. I know the taste of freedom. I know what that is. So if you question what you were believing before you did this thing that you feel so guilty over, you immediately not only see your innocence, but you can no longer believe that. So your whole world changes. But that's not something you can know until life happens. And life comes out of your imagination. Life is a mirrored image of what you're imagining to be true. And if you don't love your world, then I invite you to question what you believe about the world.